In Revit LT, a single unified model drives all project deliverables. Instead of separate and disconnected drawings, we have views which are live representations of a single model that remain coordinated automatically. Let's start with a simple example of placing common building elements in Revit LT. I'm here in a floor plan view and I would like to begin laying out an apartment unit. As we work, I'll be using standard navigation techniques found in most Autodesk products. For example, I can use the wheel on my mouse to roll up to zoom in and to roll down to zoom out. If I hold the wheel in and I drag, I can pan the view side to side. Now as I roll the mouse in, you'll also notice another nice feature of Revit LT. The walls that are already existing in this file display their line weights. Now let's go to the Architecture tab, click the Wall tool, and add some more walls to this view. You'll notice that as you move nearby existing geometry, Revit LT automatically gives you guidelines to help you make your layout. I'm going to draw a wall across here to create two bedrooms, and you'll notice that the walls automatically clean up with one another at all of the intersections. As I continue to work, you'll see dimensions appear on screen, which can assist me with my placement. If I decide I want to make modifications to the position of any of those walls, it's as simple as clicking in the dimension and putting in a new value. I'll go ahead and place a few more walls there. And to cancel out of the command, I simply click this Modify tool here or press the Escape key on my keyboard. Revit LT has many familiar modification tools like Trim, Extend, and Split. We can find those on the Modify tab. And I'll begin with the Trim and Extend to a single element. Clicking this tool allows me to pick one element that I want to use as a boundary edge, and then I can use that 